Say, how many jobs can I count on you for? If you want to be in this community, you need to hire this many people and you need to come to our community. Thank you. My question is specifically for the candidates for District 3. Um, particularly in specifics, what would you do to help small businesses um, to help small businesses get off the ground and, and, and grow? As we know, we're, we're in the midst of a very hard economic crisis, but Small businesses are the engine that create jobs from ground level. So what would you do? What are your specific plans to help small businesses? And these are for any of the candidates with respect specifically. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you for making your question. Again, I would go back and start looking at uh, the small businesses and their opportunities uh, with uh, getting federal grant dollars uh, for green jobs, solar energy, to run their businesses, it cuts the cost of business, it will allow them to hire more people. The people that do these jobs, these green energy jobs, are good jobs with health benefits, uh, they're long-term jobs. And what I would also do is talk to the dean at USF St. Pete, and I would like to create a green energy and a high-tech energy program there that will attract the students to come here. And that will attract the businesses to come here as well, because if we have talented students there, we'll have the businesses come here and invest. Um, also, what I would do is a look at tax rates for businesses opening up here. But not just tax rates for businesses opening up here. If businesses want to expand and hire new people, I look for tax rates for them as well. Um, this is another thing that's near and dear to my heart and it's in the uh, jobs bill that's in front of the U.S. Congress now is I would also offer tax breaks for hiring our veterans that are coming home. Uh, these people serve our country. They serve our country no matter their color no matter what socioeconomic group they come from, they put their lives on the line, they come home and we forget about them, and we can't do that. We need to help our veterans when they come home find work. So uh, those are three things that I would do to help businesses, small businesses in St. Petersburg. Okay. 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 Um, how important is it? Definitely want to uh, address that again as you heard me say, a um, strong support of small business. And uh, the plan I have is for one, to develop a closer working relationship between the St. Petersburg uh, Chamber of Commerce, the Business Assistance Center, the uh, City of St. Petersburg, and also USF St. Petersburg Business Center, where Ms. Wayne Brass runs that operation. I've talked with them already about this plan. What I want to do is develop uh, mentors um, out of this group to work hand in hand with business owners that are starting up. Because what I say, what I've been saying, and I've talked to a lot of business owners, you have individuals that start a business, and the baker likes to bake, if you will. He opens his business, he bakes cakes and pies, and, and he begins to grow. Uh, people start buying his, his uh, cakes and pies, and as he grows, he finds himself needing some assistance, so he hires someone. By the end of that year, he's now going to have to pay taxes, he's going to have to do uh, payroll, all these other things that he's really not an expert in. And you know, some of the larger businesses can come in with accountants and lawyers and things of that nature off the bat to help them with these things. But a small business owner does not have this to, to their uh, disposal. So if we can develop some mentors who can help uh, small businesses as they start out, help them through those first couple of years to um, make them become successful businesses, now they can employ other individuals. They learn how to invest back into their, their businesses. Uh, I believe this will be a tremendous help, and that's just a start. We also want to develop a forum where we can talk to business owners and find out uh, some of the bureaucracy that they might be going through where we can get some things done. And the bottom line, one of the things you're going to hear me say again, it's going to take a collaborative effort. You've got to work with people to get this done. You can have a lot of great ideas, but if you continue to have seven to one votes, you will not be able to get anything done. <laughs>